Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Please like and subscribe. Um, we are at the Airtight Bridge in Charleston, Illinois, Coles County. This is the bridge where we're going to be at today. Um, in 1980, this used to be a place for drifters and swimmers and people come out and drink. 1980 is where they found two men found a body. Let's let's have to walk. Um, they found a body with no hands, no head, and no feet. They did it like that so we don't get no traces of who it was and who could have been. Um, the body was said to be found 50 feet up the river. As you can see, it's a pretty big river. Pretty, pretty wide. Um, the, in 1980, when they found it, the police could not identify who it was. So they decided not to investigate too much into it until later on. They, when they grabbed the body, they pronounced it as a, a Jane Doe, or Jane Doe, something like that. And Charleston, her her grave was put there. But in 1992 is when they discovered who it really was when the Kinky County Police, Bradley Police Department, and the help of Coles County Sheriff's Department, they identified the person to be Diana Marie. Re. Marie. Marie. What? Marie. Marie. Diana Marie. Um, from Bradley. What? Smith. Hmm? Smith. Diana Marie Smith from Bradley. Um, and the killer, they still did not identify who the killer was. And it tends to be, this place could be haunted at night with her spirit looking for whoever did it. And she still reclaims here. This is Airtight Bridge, which is known in the state of Illinois and popular. We drove here two hours to get here. Me and my friend Dustin Jones is behind the camera. Um, it is a beautiful bridge. As only you see, it's only one car wide. And it's sketchy when you drove over it. You see, look down below, you see the cracks in the ground. Like, wow, imagine you drop your phone down here and no way you're retrieving it. So this bridge is very, very beautiful. I, I like culture, I like history, and this is good history, it's good view. But when they found the body, they found the body within 50 feet. And the two guys said they noticed something unusual floating in the ground. The female was nude. Like I said, no hands, no feet, no head, no way to trace who it was. Um, but I found another, we, we are, me and my brother and Dustin was investigating to it, um, that there might have been her husband that did it, um, because he said that she usually leaves out, she always, she normally leaves, you know what I mean, and like, now that no one knows, but this is what we see right now, here and today. People do come here to fish, so it is a fishing ground as well. Um, as you can see, we're in the middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. And to give you guys an idea, this river takes you all the way to Kinky County, where she, this person, Diana Maria, and Diana Marie, was, was from Bradley. Supposedly, her body might have been tossed from Bradley. So this river takes you oh, oh, toss right tossed over or it might have been tossed over here but if you look in a news article which i'll be posting memory onto that as you see this is what 
it looks all the way around and goes on for a long 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 way um, and as you see this is one of the antique bridges oh, I got hit by a bug very few traffic goes through here Imagine driving out here around 10 or 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> this is a very, very popular place to be when people come over here. Just looking around. Just looking around, everything, the nature. So this video might be short. Thanks, thanks to my friend Dustin Jones um, for joining me on this trip. Um, taking two hours of his time. Well, two and a half hours, I fell asleep. Um, as you suppose it's trespassing, but it's a beautiful sight. Some good bridge over here. This is where they would have seen the body. Um, this is where they would have came down to retrieve the body. Down here is the like, only site where it's flat enough to go recording. To go retrieve because there's no other way to go down and retrieve just only over here and you just be, be aware of something over there see what that sign say over there just be aware of something yeah. <laughs> but this is where they most likely would have retrieved the body huh. let's see what they say over there in that sign Well, you can't zoom in as much on on <laughs> when you're recording. But this is what where they would have received retrieved the body from the river. I'm not too sure if things changed since then or how long it's been. But yeah, we parked way up there. So this is what the bridge would look like. Wow, it's so thin. Look at the bridge. So thin. I think this bridge is only maxed out at like 8,000 pounds, 8,000 tons, 8 tons, like 8 tons. Wow. Not too sure if the year was built. I'm, I'm aiming for the bridge was probably built in 1918. Um, people don't take care of infrastructure when they start writing stuff. Okay guys, um, this is where the video will end. Thank you for the watching and liking and subscribe um, this has been a short video um, because it's, it's not too much to film you know what I mean but please comment down below of ideas how to make improve our recording how to improve anything um, thanks to you Dustin my friend Dustin behind the camera for joining me to come and record um, I see we have the bridge right behind us so leave a like comment down below and subscribe to the channel you'd be doing me a humongous favor and this is what you'll come to if you ever plan on coming to we're gonna go walk down the trail we left our windows on so we can't go that far from the know. cross the path um there is a trail going this way.
to a little mini little makeshift bridge right here. I'm not too sure why they can go around. So yeah, um, comment down below if you want to come back over here and do another video in the night. So comment down below. I said this would be a good place to park your car. And uh, since there's a trail, we can just walk in the woods. And maybe we can catch another spirit. Um, another ghost. There is a little grill. There is firewood. So, nothing you can't burn. Camping chair. Table. The table's weird. like a trail. You see a fake deer over there? Wow. Look at the pole. Like mini raccoons. Mine's just Paul. I do not know how long this is going for. To be honest. Alrighty guys, I gotta go. See ya. Mm -hmm. Oh dude, it moves watch. Crazy how they got these rocks here. Some pretty big boulders. Yeah. Oh, there's a bulldozer out there. Okay, we don't want to stay too far from our car. Just make sure this car goes by first. If not, we're going to head back because I left my windows down. So, this will probably be the end of the video. Comment down below if you want us to come back in the night or during the day. Hmm. So, or other locations. Or other locations, yeah. Comment down, comment down below other locations where you, where you would like us to visit. And as always, stay safe, everyone.